Hi, Dirty Girl here with part two of my November 2017 Etsy sales report. I do have just a few more things to talk about, and uh, I'll try to get through them quickly. Um, so next up is this pair of Hilson Fantasia tobacco smoking pipes with Bakelite bowls. Now, um, these aren't super valuable, so I sold a couple of them together as a lot and they sold for $42 and they had the original box and they were nice and clean really pretty they're made in Belgium oh and I got those from my friend who gave me a giant box of pipes and um, this is a lapis lazuli Mexican sterling silver bracelet I got this at the flea market for $20 and I sold it for 68 and this is a probably Tibetan necklace. I tend to do pretty well with this type of jewelry, and I see a lot of it. It uh, can of often be uh, picked up for not very much. This has lapis lazuli and sterling, not sterling. It has um, you know, t Tibetan silver, which is like a, a really low-grade silver alloy. I think that's what it is. Uh, I paid $10 for that at the flea market and sold it for 35 and then this is a bolo tie. Uh, it's not silver. It has some brass and uh, onyx and mother of pearl. And the maker is Johnson and Held, which is a very good maker. And unfortunately, I was going to show you the mark. I mean, it looks like I was just taking horrible pictures. I must have had this sitting around for a while because I think I. Oh yay! I had a sale. I think I would take. Um, a better picture but I think that's the mark right there um, but anyway sorry about that that it's not a better picture to show you the mark but anyway uh, Johnson and Held inlaid abalone and I paid uh, five dollars for that at the flea market and I sold it for 59 uh, although I have been sitting on it for a while obviously since the picture is so crummy uh, okay next up is another one of these uh, bronze teapots. They're uh, 20th century, meant to look like antiques. Uh, I come across these more than once anyway. I got two of them at a garage sale. I paid, oh, I think between three and four dollars for this one and uh, sold it for fifty dollars. They do seem to be pretty collectible. I bought two of them at this garage sale and they both sold pretty quickly. And uh, this is a pudding mold or um, I guess a pudding mold. I got this at an estate sale for five dollars. It's um, you can see it's this uh, red or cream clay pottery and it's made in Alsace, France. Uh, let's see if I can find a mark for you. Made in France. Has really pretty hand-painted design on it. I got that for five dollars at the estate sale and sold it for forty four and uh this just has kind of a funny story to it. These are some bone hand carved really really tiny let's see if I can show you how how big they are. There they are next to a dime little tiny die and I found these uh I bought a kind of a cheap backgammon board at uh, this was at the rummage sale at my mother-in-law's um, retirement place that they have every month and I believe I paid a dollar or maybe two dollars for the backgammon set and when I got home I opened it and this little container was in it and it had these little dice in it and so I sold the backgammon board for fifteen dollars I think but I sold these hand carved die for twenty five so you never know what you're going to find sometimes. And uh, this is an antique cast iron bank from the 1920s. It has just traces of the original gilding on it. Um, I had this looked at by an appraiser because I wasn't sure what I had. He said that it was worth, oh, you know, that's worth like $400. He was all excited about it. 
I tried to sell it for that, and I did not have any luck. I tried it on eBay, tried it on Etsy. I kept lowering the price and lowering the price. And finally, I did sell it for $150, uh, but I did only pay $5 for it. I got it at the flea market. So I was still, you know, I was happy with that. Pretty good profit. And this is a French designer evening gown from the 1940s. The designer is Mona Routier. Uh, it's velvet. It's a size 46 or 14, so it's a pretty large size. And I got that for free from my sister-in-law, who obviously recognized it as something nice, and I sold it for 48 And the final item I have to show you is uh, sterling silver and black enamel ring, which I just thought it was so cute because it's kind of like a giraffe fur pattern. <laughs> and I got that at the flea market for $15. It was pretty big, pretty heavy, and um, sold it for $38. And uh, that's it. There's um, the first half of this uh, sales video is has already been uploaded to my channel. I'll, um, if I can remember, I'll try to put a link to it down below so you can look at it if you missed it and want to see more sales from November. And uh, my shop is vintagedazzle.etsy.com and the link will be down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I often do haul videos to show you what I've bought and where I've bought it and what I've paid for it. And, uh, and sometimes because there's often a delay between when I buy something and when I actually post the video, I'll also tell you on those what I sell things for. So that's kind of what I do on this channel. And uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you're having a nice new year, and I will see you soon. Bye!